guys. All right, this is a quick, easy, fun video. This one is for you guys because today we need your help. We need your input. What do I need it on? Let's find out. Hey, you guys. All right, you may notice an interesting stack of puzzles in front of me. Four different mystery puzzles. I've been to Value Village again, as you can see. You all knew about the Murder, She Wrote mystery one. I don't think you guys have seen these cool clue ones that I've come across yet. Now, I had actually had a comment earlier um, about this Murder, She Wrote puzzle. Someone actually looked it up, and this thing is worth $69.99 on Amazon. Like, holy crap, we, we've had another rare find on this channel. That's incredible. And I paid, I'm not, I'm gonna lie to you, $3.99 for this thing. Like, that's amazing. Okay, so for anyone who does not know, these mystery puzzles, you get a little story with them, um, and it's, it's like playing Clue. You don't get the puzzle picture. It's totally blind. There are about 500 pieces, this one's 550. You put the puzzle together and it gives you clues to who the murderer is. Like you read the story and you kind of get an idea, you get some suspects going and you try to figure it out. And then through the puzzle, you figure out who the murderer is. Now, I thought it would be really cool if we did this live for you guys, because then you get to be part of it. You can chime in and be like, oh my God, that's the murderer, that's the murderer, oh my goodness. Um, and I, like, I just think that would be so cool. But the problem I'm having, you guys, I don't know which one to do, like there's four. How am I supposed to pick? I need your help. I want you guys to pick which one we do. We will be doing this live Saturday, July 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you guys get to pick the puzzle. I'm gonna do whatever one has the most votes. So to give you a little lowdown on each of the puzzles so you know what you're voting for. Murder, she wrote. I don't have any kind of a rundown about the story. It doesn't give me any information on the box other than just that it is the unconventional murderer. Uh, so for, for those of you who haven't seen the show, uh, very Criminal Minds-esque style, you get the murderer happens and um, the she solves it. She is a really, really smart lady. Um, I think she's an author and she just solves these mysteries and then writes about them. So I'm assuming it would be something along those lines, but it's a bit of a mystery. This guy, Killers in the Kitchen. Alrighty, what do we have here? The story. Dr. David Black enjoyed lending money to his friends. Mm, very bad choice, bad choice there. That gets you killed. Uh, but when he asked for it back, okay, see this is where the trouble starts. Um, he had nothing but enemies because no one likes to give away money. Six came to tune their clothes and one cut loose from the debt from the debt with a kitchen knife. Oh, ho, ho, the black's back. Um, but the killer made one mistake and left it in the kitchen. What an idiot. Who was it? And what was the fatal mistake? All right, so you have a very dim killer here who <laughs> killed a man, dead. Um, what do I do with this thing? Ah, just leave it. Oh well, they can see the dead body. They know he's dead. Is it not relevant? <laughs> Who's the killer? Who is the killer that leaves the weapon at scene of the crime? I would hope by the picture they had the good sense to wear gloves, but I'm, I really don't hold out a lot of hope for that killer. Kitchen knifey murderer. Or you have death, the first edition. Ooh, okay. Dr. David Black, this dude has a lot of problems, um, was a gentleman blackmailer who loved Dickens and rare books, but made the mistake of inviting six of his victims to his library to see what their blood money bought. This man is not smart. Does he just like to be killed? That night, Black was brutally slain in a rain-soaked garden, but there were no footprints. Mm, a ghost. Which guest committed the murderer and how? That, okay, that one sounds better. This killer has a little bit more going on upstairs than the knifey murder man. At least he had the good sense not to leave his weapon. 
we think. Anyways, you have the book one, the Nike one, or the Murder She Wrote one. Or Garden of Evil. Um, am I gonna go three for three here? This is gonna be about Dr. David Black, I bet. Okay, let's see. Dr. David Black, the, the, the dead man again. <laughs> He's come back for more, folks. <laughs> Tending his flowers. Probably is a ghost at this point because he's been murdered in the kitchen and by a book. <laughs> <laughs> Tending his flowers when evil entered the garden. Well, he's a ghost. Just sometimes they're evil. Um, in, it came in the form of a murderer. Okay. Um, with a secret plan to mislead the police. Generally a good idea if you want to kill someone, you hold your hand like, I did it! Let me arrest me! <laughs> Can you unravel the mystery and tell which one of the six guests proved to be the snake in the grass? Woohoo! Okay. So, you guys, in the comments, I want you to vote. Which one do you want to solve together? And another important thing I want you to throw in there. These come with a little story. Now this being alive, we are gonna have all the time in the world, totally unedited, just there for you guys to enjoy. Would you like a condensed version of the story? I can read it beforehand and I can give you the lowdown about the suspects and all that, or would you like me to read the whole thing for you guys? Because I am totally willing to do whatever one you guys would prefer. This is for you guys. This is for us to have fun together. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your votes. And I will see you guys on Saturday, July 17th. Have a good night, you guys. And don't forget to like, of course, comment, and subscribe. See ya.